Well, it's time now for Health Report. And joining us now is Africa 54 Health correspondent, Lino Mudu. Lino, what do you have for us today? Well, Vincent, Doctors Without Borders, MSF, says the world will run out of one of the most effective treatments for snake bites next year. The medical charity warned that existing stockpiles of the antivenom Favafric produced by Sanofi Pasteur is set to expire in June 2016. Favafric has been used to treat bites from 10 different types of snakes across sub-Saharan Africa. The company stopped producing the antivenom last year and experts say the lives of tens of thousands of people are at risk, mostly in developing countries. Each year, an estimated 5 million people worldwide are bitten by snakes. About 100,000 die and 400,000 are permanently disabled or disfigured. The World Health Organization says snake bites are a neglected issue that needs more attention and investment. Joining us now on the phone from Pretoria, South Africa, is Johan Marais, founder of the African Snake Bite Institute. Mr. Marais, welcome to Africa 54. Uh, good evening. What is your reaction to the prospect that Fava Freak may run out by next year? Well, I think what is important to, to bear in mind is that Fava Freak is one of many antivenoms that are available in Africa. Uh, South Africa uh, produces an anti, a polyvalent antivenom that covers uh, pretty much the same species that Fava Freak covers, and that's still freely available. So I don't think that uh, the shortage is as big a crisis as the fact that antivenom is not reaching most of these rural areas. And then there's another problem, and that's a lot of doctors don't have the right training in how to use the antivenom. So there are much bigger problems than just a shortage of Fava Freak. So much bigger problem, you, you mentioned the access to this antivenom and also proper training. What is the step forward in terms of addressing these issues, for example? Well, there's, there's very little being done, and I really think that it's time for the World Health Organization to give this more attention. You know, if you look at the cost of Fava Freak, it's just uh, far beyond the reach of most clinics in, in Africa. Uh, even the South African product that is a lot cheaper costs nearly $100 a vial, and in a bad snake bite, you're going to need at least 10 to 15 vials of antivenom. So then, uh, can you tell us, uh, Mr. Mahe, some advice in terms of when someone is confronted with a snake? I know a lot of people have these ideas about handling snakes. What can you tell us uh, quickly? Well, I think people should avoid snakes, and, and, and bear in mind that if they're five or six meters away from a snake, they're perfectly safe. There's no snake that's going to approach you from five or six meters away and attack you. Um, and as far as the, the, the snake bites go, um, people must forget about a lot of the traditional remedies. There's none of them that work. So forget about snake stones and all of that. And it's very important to get that person to a hospital. And what we find is that people that are hospitalized don't all need antivenom. In fact, less than, less than 20% of the people that are hospitalized after snake bites need antivenom and receive it. So the majority of the victims don't have severe bites and are sent home within a day or two. Okay. Okay, Mr. Marais, thank you so much for joining us today. Johan Marais is founder of the African Snake Bite Institute. Now, scientists are manipulating the production of an antivenom in a bid to create a universal biological product that can serve as a treatment for snake bites from all the deadly snakes in sub-Saharan Africa. The puff adder is one of sub-Saharan Africa's most deadly snakes. The venom extracted here is being used to create a potent new antivenom that could treat bites from every poisonous snake found in the region. Dr. Robert Harrison is leading the research at the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine, where they've collected 21 of the region's most lethal snake species, 450 animals in total. 32,000 people are dying from snake bite every year in sub-Saharan Africa. But it's not only that. Other people who survive the bite, about 100,000 of them, are living with severe disabled limbs or legs, uh, you know, just really very, very disabling uh, conditions. Snake bites have a devastating impact on impoverished community in sub-Saharan Africa, where families often live on less than a dollar a day. Current broad-spectrum antivenoms cost about $140 per vial. But they are weak and often require multiple doses to achieve a cure, something most people are simply unable to afford. 
The team from the Venom Research Unit are developing a cheaper, more effective treatment using an innovative new technique they've dubbed antivenomics. So what we're going to try and do is take our existing antivenom, for, which we made for Di Nigeria and being used in Nigeria, which is effective and it's cheap and it's safe. And now we're going to make it more effective against all the other snakes of, of uh, sub-Saharan Africa. And we're going to do that by identifying the proteins that are unique to all the other species and taking these unique proteins, i.e. different from the saw scale viper, the puff adder or the spitting cobra, and add that to the venoms from the original three. Another hurdle they hope to overcome is making sure the antivenom is still effective after being stored at room temperature without the need for refrigeration. They anticipate that by mid-2018, they will be able to confirm if the new antivenom, when stored at room temperature for at least a year, is effective against all the snakes of sub-Saharan Africa. And that's our Africa Health Report for today. Back to you, Vincent. Well, you know, thanks. And I'll be sure to watch Lino Mudu's health reports every Tuesday and Thursday right here on Africa 54.